Today we're going to talk about the new Marvel Hulu series, Hellstrong, so let's get started. <laughs> Damon and Anna Hellstrom are the son and daughter of a mysterious and powerful serial killer. The siblings have a complicated dynamic as they track down the terrorizing worst of humanity, each with their attitude and skills. Welcome back, everybody, to another Halloween special. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up-and-coming Halloween specials. Hellstrom is the second Hulu Marvel series after their first one, The Runaways, when the character of Damon Hellstrom debuted in the 1970s. In the comics, he was the son of Satan. His early appearances inspired the comic book series, The Son of Satan, which had Damon Hellstrom and Satan as well. This is the last Marvel TV series before it's shut down. And what an anticlimactic way to end the Marvel TV series. There's no connection for Hellstrom to any of the MCU films. It stands by itself in the Marvel comics. Damon lives in Oregon and he is a part-time professor and a part-time exorcist. He grew up with his mother who, who very early on in the series, we learned that she is possessed by demons. And his sister, who was absent for a lot of his life, lived with her father, who was a serial killer. And she seeks out bad men and kills them. And they both have supernatural powers, but they also have a troubled past. And we do get a lot of past memories of them and dealing with their mother and their father and how it kind of shapes them as adults. There's a lot of family drama between Damon and Anna. Damon wants to protect his mother. Anna has a different opinion about it. And they're rehashing a lot of the family drama throughout the episodes. And so their drama and their backstory and the conflicts with them and their mother really does feel repetitive because it often they do argue about their position with their mother, their mother and her being possessed and what each of them want to do. So it's a thing that happens over and over again and it really drags down their conflict and them as characters. And the two characters of Damon and Anna are not that interesting by themselves anyway. Damon is a bit dull. I didn't find his abilities and him as a character to be rather interesting. He's kind of snobby at times. He realizes that he does have these powers and he is there to take care of his mother. And Anna on the hand, she's a little bit better than Damon. She's very stylish and she's always quick to make decisions and wants to get things done much faster than Damon. And as a show that's regarded as a Marvel superhero kind of series, it doesn't really feel much like a superhero show. It feels more of a drama with people with abilities and there's demons within it. And the show really early on just tells us that these people have powers and there are demons in the world and they really don't explore too much of that. But like I said, the show is very focused on their relationship with their mother and their family conflict. And the show takes place in Oregon and it's very gloomy and doesn't really provide any exciting moments or a colorful palette because it just looks very gray and dark and wet all the time. There's really not any comic book style to this series. Things are just happening for a reason and doesn't really explore much of that and give it a unique twist to it. The demons just look like your average people and the duo of Damon and Anna have these demon nightmares that are supposed to move the characters forward and they're dealing with that daily and the show wants to have the mixture of the action moments and a horror element to it and none of it comes off as entertaining or even impactful to the story. The film moves at a sluggish pace and never really makes any of the characters engaging. I thought the first few minutes of the series were promising, with Damon visiting a young child who thought he was possessed. But once we learned more about Damon and his troubled past and it being repetitive, I became less interested in the characters and less interested in the story. 
This series is in an odd place because it's the last one of the Marvel TV series. They really didn't do any of the characters justice. It could have been an interesting series. It reminds me a lot of Constantine. They're both hunting demons and they have troubled past. I think it could have had a lot of style going for it and be very sleek, but it having to be in Oregon and it looking gray all the time and the characters just really out of it and not really interesting. It was led for a very dull series that was a little bit of a struggle to get through. I could see the potential within the series and some of the characters and the duo and them and them hunting demons and bad men. It all seems like something that could be really fun to watch. But it was a show that had no styles and it was dark looking and just overall not really entertaining. And these are some of the dullest leads in a comic book series. I haven't seen Runaways. Not sure if I entirely want to either. I really don't watch much of the Marvel TV shows. I didn't watch Agent Carter. I didn't watch S.H.I.E.L.D. I didn't watch Luke Cage. I didn't watch Jessica Jones or uh, Iron Fist. I did watch some of Daredevil. I don't know. I just don't really have any interest in watching the Marvel shows, but I really did like Daredevil. This one was very weak and uh, I don't think I would want to watch it again. I'm going to go ahead and give Hellstrom a C-. minus. Thank you guys for checking out my review for Hellstrom, the new Hulu series. Have you guys seen it? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming Hulu content. My name is Just Watch This Movies and you guys stay spooky YouTube.